Since the inception of Young Adult Ministries, we have been vocal about the enemy's plans to seduce, corrupt, and destroy people through the medium of music. So I know we have, I know we've lost like 90% of the people, but just so we lose the rest of you, can we do, can we can we deal with Beyonce? Because Beyonce is a high is a is a witch. No, but do it. here's another example of how he goes about it. Listen to Shane Lynch, an ex boys own member, as he talks about his experiences in the music industry. The link to the full video can be found in the description below. Um what do you think was it that sense of monotony that was lead it, that led you towards that just kind of destructive behaviour or was it something else? The industry is destructive. So let me take it straight to God um, and straight to, straight, straight to the world as a spiritual world. We have the Holy Spirit that guides us and protects us in the name of Christ. But the spirits, multiple and plural, that the demonic side of the music industry is very real too. That's how I came to God through understanding the demonic side. So I think the industry has um, a way of just taking control of you in many self-destruct uh, scenarios. I was certainly interested in being mysterious. It gave me a character. It gave me some substance that I could hold on to. And why I did that or why I, I portrayed myself in, in those ways, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was trying to prove something out of a boy band scenario, perhaps. But also, it intrigued me, the world, the darker side of the world, the Ouija boards, uh, Ouija boards, uh, seances, all that kind of spiritual tar tarot card reading, all that kind of stuff really got a hold of me. And interestingly, that all came from our very first album launch which you would say, which you would look at very innocently because it was around Halloween. It was a Halloween party in a big mansion. But in that was super demonic, super demonic. But for what, this young kids, it's a, bit of, it's a bit of fun. All the record company are there and all the, the journalists are there. And here we go. But when I look at the, the way the industry um, has the ruling over music. Now, of course, not all music is bad. By all means, it's not. But majority of it, there is to take you away from Christ. 100% take you away from Christ. In terms of the lyrics, and the, is that what you mean? Or do you mean the industry itself, people, the big players in the industry? Both lyrically and both big players. Both, um, I've been in rooms at the, the top of the top, which albums are prayed over demonically. Music is prayed over demonically. Um, that goes out to the world, goes out to the radio stations, goes out to the public. And when you see that stuff and know that stuff, it's frightening. What do you mean by that, Shane, prayed over demonically? So uh, rituals, ceremonies, everything to bring, um, uh, to give light to, to, to the devil, to Satan. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a satanic music industry. That's majority of what it is. Do you, do you mean figuratively or do you mean literally you've been in... Literally, yes. And can, Not you, figuratively. can you share what those albums were? Um, were they your albums? No, they weren't were they... our albums, no. They were not boys' own albums. Um, so that's what I mean by not every music is that. But it was on the stepping stone to that. So you're going back to the 1993s into 2000s. And then um, if you look at what the music is today, the industry is today, uh, for all your Sam Smiths, to your Dojo Cats, to your Beyonce's, to they are so demonic, it's unbelievable. And we can't, it's in front of us. Um, it's something that we uh, kind of go, oh, it's just music. But it really isn't. It's absolutely taken over the world, taken over our children, and taken over uh, everything that's, that, that's coming to the, the times of, of world crisis. And are you talking about the, the messages that are in those, some of those songs, some of those, that, that some of those artists, you know, share with their fans? Yeah, messages and the glorification of Satan. And it, and it certainly had some kind of influence on you because as you said that you, you started to get very drawn into the dark side and you were interested in witchcraft and Ouija boards and, 
and that led to some very dark experiences for you personally. Uh -huh. um, can you tell us a bit about what those were and how those came about? It came about just through opening those doors. You know, we've got to be very careful on what doors we knock on. And as soon as you start innocently doing a tarot reading or a Ouija board or a seance or whatever them fun things as kids that we mess around with, you're given grounds to the dark side. Of course you are. You're now engaged. You've opened the door. And once you open doors, they have the rights. They have the rights to, to come in. Um, and I opened many doors and found myself in a very, very angry, very dark place, uh, self-destruct place, uh, violent place. And at one point of all of that, um, yeah, was, was I, I don't think I was quite suicidal, but in the industry that I was in, um, the press itself was, you know, quite, uh, with the whole, I'll say, phone hacking side of things and everything that went on and the paranoia. And, you know, a lot of us celebrities are and have been true cases of all of that, which um, led to a lot of destruction. So the, the press themselves are even on a destructive path. Um, and with that, yeah, just for me came a very, very, very dark, dark place. I mean, your autobiography talks about, you know, all kinds of things, being locked into your body, having demons come and breathe in your ear, uh -huh. levitating beds. I mean, it's pretty out there. And you, but you exp experienced that. So when people kind of say to you, surely not, like that's, that's nonsense, or, you know, maybe that's in your mind, or maybe that, you know, what, what do you say to them? <laughs> I say the devil's doing a great job of diverting your truths and Hollywood's, Hollywood is doing a great job of it too because it's, it, that's what it's there to do is to make you think it's all nonsense, of course. And if you think it's all nonsense, then the devil's laughing and it's very real. And, you know, if, if you're a Christian and you understand the Bible, the Bible talks about demons. That means it's real. If you understand the Bible is real, you know, all of that's not in there for no reason. So just because you've never seen it, and I wish you never do, um, if you've never been a part of it, but you still have to understand it's biblical. And luckily for me, it was biblical. And luckily for me, it's how I found God because I knew the dark so well. I knew they were real. I hung out with them, which means, well, if you're real, surely God is real. And that's kind of my flip journey of how I had to, had to get out of where I was.